student is proving that there's an art to overcoming rejection. First, her project was kicked out of a school show for being inappropriate, but now it is getting invites from galleries as far away as New York. WYFF News 4's Mike McCormick has the update. I've gotten into where I want to discuss controversy. We first introduced you to Gracie Holdsclaw. I'll just ink it up and print it. And her art Friday night. The piece, titled Rape Culture, was promised a spot in the Greenville County School District exhibit at Artisphere, but was ultimately rejected for being, quote, inappropriate. I feel like I was done a great service by having my art pulled out of the show because I've just gotten so much more. Attention put on the message that I was trying to put out there. On Friday, Gracie, a senior at Blue Ridge High, told us oh, yeah, she created the art because she was always taught that women should cover up or be blamed for what could happen. Eventually, I had gotten sexually assaulted, and it was true when it happened, everyone blamed me for it, and they told me it was my fault. I wanted to get the word out there and tell people that. You know, it's not your fault. Her story on WIFF4.com got 276 comments. On the WIFF News 4 Facebook page, more than 80,000 people saw her story, 95 people shared it, and there were 138 comments. It has been overwhelming. She's since gotten offers from galleries in our area. There's an art show coming up for domestic abuse and um, abuse, sexual assault, sexual abuse. And my artwork will be in that show. The teen art gallery in New York City will display the piece, and people have offered to buy it, but she sees its power. I have gotten a lot of girls reaching out to me, and I knew I wasn't alone, and now they know that they're not alone. As being priceless. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, Greenville.